Hey, what's up everybody? Dylan here at HOSA and we want to talk to you today about something where there's already some resources online about that are really, really great, but not as many from the manufacturer side of things and that is artist endorsements and sponsorships and relationships between companies, artists and creators. Now it's important to know that every company is going to be a little bit different as far as what they're looking for and also how they function, whether that's contracts or handshake agreements. Uh, free gear, artist pricing, or even certain metric thresholds that you have to adhere to. So what we'll try and do is just speak a little more broadly as far as things that work across the board a little bit easier. So first thing that's important is researching the company. Now you may already be familiar with them or use their products and that's a really, really great start. But when you approach, you should already kind of have a general idea of who you're approaching and what you're looking for. Secondly, also think about the company's interests and what they might be looking for from this relationship. Like any other relationship, there has to be some kind of symbiosis where both parties have something to gain from that relationship with each other. Thirdly, always have an idea about how you plan on using or promoting any product or brand or service that you're gonna be using, whether that's on social media, in a video, or even in a live atmosphere. Fourthly, be specific about what you're requesting, but also be open to alternatives. Number five, remember that the email is going to another person on the other side, even though they work for a company. So be sincere, be honest. It's okay to be small and to be growing, but it's really important to be self-aware. Number six, make it as easy to find you as possible. You can have a comprehensive list of clickable links that's easy for people to access rather than giving them at handles or asking them to Google search your name or your band because they may not invest that time. And number seven, something that I think is really important doesn't get talked about as much, which is don't just fish for free stuff. Be willing to accept less. Companies can tell when people are just looking for free things and they don't really value the relationship and that's probably not going to help you. Number eight, have confidence in what you're offering. You don't have to overpromise. You don't have to exaggerate. Just know your worth and what you offer and be sincere. Number nine, and it may seem kind of silly to bring up, but I promise you it's important, is spell check, use proper fonts, and use proper colors. I know that we're all musicians and creative types, but you gotta remind yourself that this is a professional email that you're sending to the other person. I think it's also important not to make assumptions. It's okay to accept no as an answer and be gracious because all relationships can change, all relationships can grow over time. And the last point I'll leave you with is something that I talk about a lot with people because there's this cliche out there that it's business, it's not personal, when in fact business is nothing but personal. You're talking to another person on the other side, that person's talking back to you. So be kind, be patient, be respectful, and let that relationship develop as any relationship would. So hopefully that provided some good insight because we know how important it is in this industry for artists and manufacturers to have direct relationships with each other. And if you have any questions, we'll be more than happy to answer them in the comments below. We'll see you guys next time.